like to call the candidates up on stage and we will start with Mark Amaday. to turn this over to Karen, who will be the moderator, and she will give you the rules for the debate. Good evening, everybody, and thank you, and welcome to the Nugget in Pahrump, Nevada. I want to thank you all for joining us this evening for the U.S. Congressional Candidates debate for the upcoming special election, which is scheduled for September 13th, to replace Dean Heller's seat in Congress for Nevada. Right now, we have no one in Congress voting for Nevada. So this debate is very, very important to Nevada and America. Representation is what our democracy is all about. The people's voice, your voice. And our sponsors tonight are Dr. Jeffrey Ross Gunter, Morales Construction, Pete's Auto Clinic, Valley Electric, Precious Care, Funding Solutions, Wolfie's, The Winery, and Care Source. And also tonight, you were handed a straw poll. Please take the time to fill it out for us. We would appreciate that. And now, I would like to introduce you. We have both Democrats and Republicans here tonight. We have Republican Commander Kirk Lupo. Democrat Nancy Price. And Republican Mark Amaday. Now I'm going to give you the rules for tonight's debate, they're really rather simple. Each candidate will have only two minutes to answer each question. And in the lightning round, the candidates are asked yes or no, or one word answers only. Our timekeeper, Tim Williams, stand up Tim. <laughs> we'll hold up the cards advising you, the candidates, of the halfway mark and when the red card comes up, that's it. You're done. There will be no exceptions. The order of opening and closing statements and first question order were determined by a draw of the cards. All the questions presented tonight were submitted by the residents in Congressional District 2, the votes of the people you're asking for. <clears throat> Audience, if you would, Please, in the interest of time, hold all of your applause from now forward till the end of the event. All right? I can't. Oh, please, turn your cell phones off or vibrate. And before, oh, now it's time for our opening statements. And I believe, Mark, you won uh, the round on that one. Can you hear me? Thank you for that time for the opening statement. Thanks. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you, Nine County folks, for coming out and, and supporting what is one of, one of our most richest traditions in the electoral process. And that is getting everybody in the same room, on the same stage, asking them questions, and getting a feel for that person. It is a uniquely rich Nevada tradition. It's nice to see that it is alive and well here at the home of the Trojans. As uh, Karen indicated, the seat that, uh, that we're going to have a special election for on September 13th is presently vacant. After September 13th, the person that you choose will be responsible for filling out uh, now Senator Dean Heller's term for 14 or 15 months. Phenomenally important time in the course of our nation, both in terms of the issues that are here in Nevada, that are affecting us all, whether they're economic, whether they're federal land use, or whether they're foreign policy related, which affects us here at home. Also, a phenomenally important time federally as you watch what's going on with the debt, with the budget, with energy, with immigration, all the touchstone issues that have come to the fore and been so important to all of us. 
watching the new administration and watching the Congress back when uh, it was had a supermajority in the Senate and Nancy Pelosi was in control of the House. I look forward to participating and uh, answering your questions and, and conversing with my colleagues up here because it's a phenomenally important time to send a message to the folks in Washington, D.C. that is a battleground state in 2012, and this is a great opportunity to set the stage for that 2012 run-up. Thank you. And our next speaker will be Kurt Lepole. Good evening, and thank you, especially for the trunk for hosting this debate tonight, and also for all the folks out there in Pahrump, as well as Nye County, and throughout the state of Nevada. It is a critical moment in our nation's history and in Nevada's history. The blunt reality of it is, we as a nation are at a tipping point. We have no representation for the second congressional district back in Congress right now, and it is imperative that we get someone back there as quickly as possible. The reason for doing that is without a voice in Washington, we cannot be represented as folks here. When you look at what is required for our nation, for what is required for Nevada, and for our future, we are facing some monumental challenges. First and foremost, the debt. From that stems almost everything else. When you look at the amount of jobs that we do not have here in the state, the high unemployment, the foreclosure rates, all those things, this is not the time for business or politics as usual. This is the time for someone to step forward with bold, decisive leadership. One person can make a difference back in Washington. One person can go back there and speak up on behalf of the citizens of Nevada. And that is what's going to be important. Because unless we begin to tackle these issues, facing the challenges that we're facing, we are not going to succeed here at home. We're not going to succeed as a nation. People can make a difference because your voice, represented in Washington, is what will make that difference. I'm honored to be here. 26 years in the Navy, I came home to Nevada. I'm working very hard to get my name up and known and working very hard to earn your trust, your support, and your vote. Thank you. Hold your applause, please. And our next speaker, Nancy Price. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm so happy to see so many people here, and I'm happy to be here, and I want to thank our hosts uh, for providing this opportunity for us and an opportunity for you, too, to find out who we are and what we stand for and what you can expect from us. Now, um, I was the elected Democratic nominee last year, and I don't know if anyone here was at the uh, Perum Candidates Night. I was there just last year and I was there with my daughter. Tonight I'm here with my husband in the back there, former Assemblyman Bob Price. Now, Bob Price served in the Assembly with Mark Amaday and so I've known Mark for a very long time and I can tell you he's a nice guy. <laughs> Well, the thing about a debate or a, a format like this, instead of just speaking uh, to you, uh, is that you find out different things about not only people, but about the party they represent. Well, I was recently in a debate with some of the lesser known candidates, and it was remarkable. There were Republicans, Democrats, Independents, Tea Party. Most of us agreed on most things most of the time. Now, you find that hard to believe if you just listen uh, to television or some, some other radio shows. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, when, the, when the corporate interest, and I'm talking about top 2 4%, the very rich, are not involved uh, we all have a lot in common, and I'm hoping that tonight we'll see that we have a lot in common. Before we take a break, I have a message for all three of you from our seniors. They say, 
Nevada's senior community is Nevada's greatest resource. Represent us seniors. Work hard, be honest, or we as seniors will throw you out. <laughs> and before we get started with the questions that the candidates have not seen, so they are not all pre-prepared, they have not seen them. We are gonna take a short commercial break. Please stay with us. The debate begins next and we will be right back. And now for you, let me reintroduce the Glory Girls. Uh, just so you know, we are from a well, larger course. We're from the Celebrities in Course of Sweet Adelines in Las Vegas. And if there are any ladies out there that would like to sing, uh, we'd like to invite you to come and to one of our rehearsals. We meet on Tuesday nights at the Community Lutheran Church in Las Vegas. Um, we actually have a member who commutes from Toronto there. So if you would are interested in the type of singing that we do, we're a quartet from a larger course, please come join us. Now this next song that we're going to do is a result of the Civil War. Okay, imagine if you will, the troops are coming over the top of the mountain. 